Hey guys, Brad from Rotor Heat back at it with a 2020 rookie profile. Today we're talking about T. Higgins, wide receiver from Clemson. Don't forget, if you've liked all the content you've been seeing from the Roto Heat channel here on YouTube, like and subscribe so you can stay up to date with everything that we're kicking out for this 2020 rookie class. Higgins had 135 catches for 2,448 yards and 27 touchdowns. That came out to 18.1 yards per catch. In 2019, he also added a 36-yard touchdown rushing. For athletic ability, we gave him a 7.7. 7. Uh, this dude is super talented. You know, uh, for his athletic profile, you know, he's got great size and speed. He's got the uh, really good ball control, especially when going up and trying to get the ball. Um, he, he makes highlight real sideline catches on the regular you know check out some of his footage in 2019 the guy is just all over the field you know he's got a nice big frame he knows how to use his body when going up and getting those balls he can box out corners especially at his size he's you know 6'4 215 that's a great size for a receiver uh, he he definitely has a lot of Mike Williams to his game uh, a for, another former Clemson receiver and it and it really should translate well to the NFL level for toughness, we gave him a 7.1 out of 10. We saw plenty of times on tape that he was willing to lower his shoulder and, and really try to bowl over those corners and get some extra yards. Uh, he's really good at fighting for extra yards, and we really like that about his game. He definitely, uh, with the 6'4 frame, he's definitely a big, uh, strong kid, you know, very physical. Uh, we saw that plenty of times when you think of, when you look at his his him in the red zone. You know, he's a very physical receiver, and, and we think that translates well to the next level. Um, the one concern we had, which kind of knocked down a score, is when it came to run blocking and, and you know, and kind of blocking after somebody else is on the move with the ball, didn't seem to go at it 100%, you know, and, and we did have some of the evaluators have a little bit of concern about kind of his uh, his engagement, you know, when, when it isn't coming to him. So that's a concern there, but definitely not something that we think is a, a big knock on his game. For hands, the team gave him an 8.4 out of 10. Um, he really does a great job tracking the ball and, and going up and getting it at its highest point. You know, if you watch some of the footage, like uh, like some of the footage when he's doing the the red zone fades into the, into the back corner of the end zone by the pylon, I mean, the way that he uses his hands to get that ball out of the air and kind of snatch it out of the air is amazing. Now, we did see some, tr uh, some situations, like think about games like Pitt in 2018, where it's, you know, kind of wet conditions. He has a little bit of trouble um, catching the ball while well, everybody's going to have that trouble in the, in the, with the wet conditions. So, you know, the times that we did see some concentration type drops, there were also other factors. So we're, we're kind of hedging our bets that um, those are more outliers based on, you know, weather uh, conditions and things like that, you know, but we really like his, his hands as he moves to the next level, you know, um, comps, that we've seen some of our evaluators give him is, you know, Mike Williams, AJ Green, you know, really good hands catchers. For Yak, the team gave him a 7.4 out of 10. You know, a perfect example of this is, is watch his game against South Carolina in 2019. It was fun to watch. Big play after big play. I think that really can be his ceiling at the next level. Because of his size, his speed, I mean, that, that combination really gives him the opportunity to be a big play guy, you know, and we saw some of those. When he had the ball in his hands and, and he was running in stride, there was nobody catching him. You know, the guy just has a really, really good big play ability. And, and we think that, you know, obviously 7.4 isn't isn't the highest score, you know, but it's a really, uh, you know, it's a really good quality starter score uh, at the ride, wide receiver position. And we're excited to see how that transitions to the NFL game. For route running, we gave him a 7.6 out of 10. You know, uh, some of the evaluators said solid route runner, um, though it felt like he ran – a ton of the same routes, you know, so the concern here is um, his route tree, you know, how how much of it was schemed based on the fact that he just is a big play threat. You know, um, we saw a lot of great red zone opportunities for him and he did a good job in the red zone, especially on fades and some of those, um, you know, some of the guys just have concern about kind of the light round, <laughs> uh, the light route tree that he has. At Clemson, you know, so is it schematic? Is it based on the player? You know, there's some things to think about there. Um, we watched a lot of different games on him and, and and didn't see a ton of dynamic routes. You know, a lot of a lot of deep stuff, deep you know uh, fades in the end zone, a lot of the same types of routes. So you know, some things to think about there. Overall, we gave him a seven point six out of ten. Uh, I like this statement by one of our evaluators: built like an NFL wide receiver and plays like one too. 
Um, this guy does big play after big play, and it and he's fun to watch. I mean, when you watch a lot of his footage from 2018 and 2019, you see him as a mismatch all over the field. He's inside, he's moved outside. You know, the guy's got an insane amount of talent, and and I think he will turn it on in the next level, and you'll see a really big play. Uh, wide receiver at the NFL level, you know, at 6'4", 215 with good speed. Um, it's going to be fun to watch, you know, like I've already mentioned in the video comps I've seen based on the guys that are uh, evaluating them are AJ Green and Mike Williams, you know, and I definitely saw a lot of the former Clemson wide receiver, Mike Williams in him, except T. Higgins is healthier. You know, Mike Williams, obviously at the NFL level uh, has had some, some tough times in, in college and the NFL level with, with injuries, um, you know, in the system that he's been in, you've seen big plays from him. I think T. Higgins is just as as big play threat as as Mike Williams or, or A.J. Green or any of these guys. So um, when it comes to fantasy, definitely a guy that we see going in the back half of the first round currently. Now, obviously, you know, we've got combine NFL draft to come, so that could change, and he could be in conversation for a wide receiver two off the board um, when all things are said and done. Definitely let us know who you want us to rate and review next. Also. Right there, playlist, hit it, watch the videos, do it, you want to, do it.